We now are mid-journey, the creative, innovative, and exciting part. And Joan Didion, the writer, once said that it's easy to see the beginnings of things, but harder to see the ends. I want to suggest to you now that the beginnings and the ends are probably easier to name and navigate compared to the middles, the subtly shifting transformations and the unrecognized transitions. The middle is relentlessly dynamic and slippery. Middles are where people make plans and God laughs. Middles are where we make the hardest decisions, choosing what to hold tight to and what to let go of when we can see neither the beginning nor the end. No plan could have fully prepared the opportunity finance industry adequately for the strategic journey we're taking together. What's really important in our work are the results. But what we come together each year to share is the experience of the journey and to learn from each other. And this conference is our time and place to do that. And this conference in particular is a special conference for many reasons. First, there are more than 700 people who've come here today from the U.S. and from several other nations to be part of the launch of Opportunity Next. Second, we want this event to reflect the values we aspire to and live by. We want to mark your participation here in line with our core purpose, in line with our core values, and in line with our mission. For that reason, as you know, we are contributing funds on behalf of each of you to the Washington, D.C. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Foundation. We're starting, a tradition, we're starting a tradition today for Opportunity Finance Network conferences, and I hope that some other organizations you're involved in will join us in this small contribution to Dr. King's legacy. Third, this event is the product of a collaboration with our sponsors and co-hosts, and so let me briefly thank Bank of America, who's our platinum sponsor, Citi, J.P. Morgan Chase, KnowledgePlex, and Wachovia, our gold sponsors, and our silver sponsors, Capital One, HSBC, Merrill Lynch, and WAMU. I want to give a special thanks to the Florida Community Loan Fund, Jacksonville Affordable Mortgages Incorporated, and Neighborhood Lending Partners of West Florida, our conference co-hosts. Fourth, this is the first conference conceived and composed by Donna Fabiani, our Executive Vice President for Knowledge Sharing. Donna and her team have done an exceptional job. Please help me show our appreciation to Donna and to the entire OFN staff who made this conference so good and who make Opportunity Finance Network successful all year long. Fifth, this conference is the debut of the Wachovia Next Awards for Opportunity Finance in partnership with the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. We received 78 applications, and tonight we will recognize six outstanding CDFIs. Thank you to all of the applicants for helping us to launch this groundbreaking awards program. At the front of the room, at two tables here, are representatives of all 10 semifinalists, 10 outstanding CDFIs. Every one of the 10 semifinalists deserves the kind of investments that the Wachovia Next Awards for Opportunity Finance can make in just two of them. I mentioned Deborah Schwartz's vision and leadership. Please join me in thanking Deborah and her colleagues at the MacArthur Foundation, Val Chang, Jerry Wong, and Mike Stegman. They move mountains to make the Wachovia Next Awards happen. I do not know how to thank Andrea Levere. Where are you, Andrea? You're over there. I do not know how, I better look at you if I'm going to thank you. I do not know how to thank Andrea Levere, president of CFED, for her wisdom, her patience, and her friendship over the past year. She and the talented CFED staff, in particular, I know Michael Torrens is here, but I also want to mention Catherine Gwatkin Goulding and Genevieve Milford, helped us remain focused and always on track this year. Thank you, Andrea. There would, of course, be no Wachovia Next Awards for Opportunity Finance without many people at Wachovia, but I want to single out three key players. Eileen Stenerson, where's Eileen? Eileen Stenerson has been OFN's business connection to Wachovia for many years. Before and beyond the awards, Eileen has helped us succeed. But as we conceived, developed, and selected the Wachovia Next Awards for Opportunity Finance, Eileen kept everyone's feet on the ground. Thank you, Eileen. Gigi Dixon, where's Gigi? 
Gigi here? I'm going to say it anyway. Gigi Dixon, if you don't know her, you got to know her, is a very special person and a very special professional. She brings a passion to her work that is inspiring. She approaches every challenge with an eye on the big picture vision. She asks hard questions without flinching. She leads by example and collaborates with the best of them. She is a champion at work, at her church, in her family, and for the Wachovia Next Awards for Opportunity Finance. When you see tonight just what the Wachovia Next Awards deliver in this room, you need to know that Gigi is the reason we are presenting the awards in style. Everyone who's had the good fortune to work with Mike Reiser knows that he is a bold but quiet leader. He makes things possible, he makes the impossible achievable, and he seems to deflect all credit sent his way. Mike is a great person who cares deeply about making opportunity finance, opportunity finance the transformational force we all believe it can and should be. He took an exceptional leap of faith within Wachovia to make the Wachovia Next Awards for Opportunity Finance great and not just good. Please stand up for us, Mike. <laughs> Sixth, I want to recognize a very important new relationship for OFN that grew from the Wachovia Next Awards. The, the Wachovia Next Awards intend to attract new money and new talent to the opportunity finance industry. We are building a strategic partnership with Net Impact which some of us are old enough to remember in its former life as Students for a Responsible Business. Net Impact is a diverse, remarkable membership organization of more than 10,000 business students and alumni, some of whom are the people we need to meet the challenges in our future. Net Impact's Executive Director, Liz Ma, is here today, and I'd like your help in welcoming her. Where are you, Liz? Seventh, this is a breakthrough event for the native CDFI community. There now are 44 native CDFIs, and this year the fourth native CDFI convening drew more than 90 participants. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow night, OISTA and Opportunity Finance Network will present the second annual native CDFI awards, recognizing, recognizing an exceptional native CDFI leader and a remarkable native CDFI. If I can, because I want everybody to see this, I'd like to ask everyone who's part of a native CDFI or who's working with a native CDFI to stand up so that we can all see just how strong this movement has become. Let's stand up. If you're working with a native CDFI. We are particular. We are grateful to the CDFI Fund for many things, but we're particularly grateful today to the CDFI Fund for its sustained leadership and support of the development of native CDFIs. The fund has invested consistently and smartly in building a native CDFI sector. In September at Pine Ridge, OISTA and OFN signed a memorandum of understanding that squarely puts OISTA in the leadership role it deserves in the growth of the native CDFI sector. I am proud that OFN has played a part in helping to foster something that's so important. I want to pay tribute last to Elsie Meeks and the entire OISTA staff and team. OISTA is doing some of the hardest work going on and producing some of the most exciting results. Where's Elsie and her team? One very more important thing, one more very important thing. In the past, we ran the native CDFI training as a separate conference track. This year, we've integrated native training into our curriculum, which we hope will foster new types of sharing and learning throughout this conference and through the year. And next year, when we reconvene in Albuquerque, the 2008 Opportunity Finance Network Conference will flip the focus and feature native CDFIs. It will be a chance for all of us to experience and understand one of the great stories in the industry over the past five or six years.